Welcome to Sweden in New York and the Swedish residence, my home. I'm the Council General Annika Rembe and I will ask Aida, our house manager, to show you around. Hi, I am Aida. Let me show you around. This palace was designed by architect James Gamble Rogers and built in early 1910s by Jonathan Bulkley. It's the only remaining single-family house on Park Avenue today. The design is British-influenced Italian Renaissance, and these rooms are used for mingling, seminars, dinners, and other gatherings to promote Swedish innovation, business, and culture. In this room, we have hosted many different kinds of events over the years from the Nobel Prize ceremony to hosting ministers, royalties, businessmen, artists, and many other notable persons. But also have done uh, round tables, seminars, and actually catwalks. This is the library. Most designs here are from the Swedish interior design company, Svensten, a company with a strong sustainability philosophy. This couch, for instance, is created by Josef Frank, a prolific designer who fled anti-Semitism in Austria for Sweden. This painting is created by renowned Swedish artist Karsten Rigild. And in this room, we host more intimate lunches. The vases are made out of recycled glass from Costa Glassworks by young Swedish designer Mimi Blomqvist. Sustainability is a focus in everything we do, and of course, it includes the food we serve to our guests. My name is Simon Hoas. I'm the executive chef here at the Swedish Consulate. Our goal here in the residence kitchen is zero waste. I'm lowering our carbon footprint by reusing ingredients from one dish into something new and exciting. I'm using local produce, and we also have our own uh, rooftop where we grow greens and vegetables and herbs.